Hey guys, here's a short video. I wanted to see how accurate the speedometer is on the Aerial Rider e-bike. Um, I'm going to go through the console also after I show you this video and we'll see uh, what my settings are for like tire height and everything. I don't think I changed it, but we'll double check just to make sure and that your settings are the same so your speedometer also works perfect. All right, let's check this out. Goes to 35 because I'll hit 35 at the same time and then I'll still keep climbing and it'll only go to 35 on that, but almost 37, 36.8 or something. All right, cut, thank you. All right, guys, we are going to check out the specs. Let's come on in. All right, so does anybody remember how to get to the menu? I think you hold it, right? You just keep holding it, hold it. Holding the power button, holding it, there we go. And we need one, nine, one, nine. Okay, let's zoom in here. Cool, let's see. Boot up screen, set password. So it's gonna be controller parameters. So yeah, I think I got it stock, 28 inch. There's the circumference. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just hit the power button to select whatever you want and then up or down. Voltage 52. So you can put a bigger battery on here, I think. Yeah, you can go up to 60, 72, 24. So we got 52. We'll go with that. Walk assist is on. I guess that's this thing right here. Amperage, I've only got to 42. What's the highest it'll go up to? <laughs> you can crank it a lot. Alright. You gotta have it at 42. 42. So yeah, I think last time I just cranked it all the way up. I think that might have been what happened to it. And then uh, speed limit. There we go. That's it, guys. Booyah. All right, so there you go. Uh, the speedometer works perfect. Um, zero problems with it. Maybe I'll do another one and try it with GPS, but sometimes GPS ain't perfect. So that was a LiDAR detector that we were going against. And I noticed uh, when I got real close, uh, the LiDAR detector, I didn't notice it, um, but my camera person noticed it. Uh, when I got to a certain point, it would stop going up or whatever, and then I'd pass it, and, you know, of course it would stop recording, and it would go down real slow, because there was nobody behind me. So, it was working perfect. As I went up, the LiDAR detector also went up, and they were just, like, neck and neck. You know, like, this would go up a little faster, of course, because I don't know what the pace on that one is, but it was, like, within, like, a second. This would go up, that would go up. This would go up, that would go up. This would, yeah, so it was like that the whole way. So the speedometer, right on. Peace out, bye. little game at the end of the video to see how many people stayed till the end so I did uh, some just bike footage of me cruising by it where it says like 34 32 I noticed uh, the closer I got to the lidar detector it would actually stop updating <laughs> so when I was about I think 15 20 feet it just pretty much gave up so the last two videos was like 32, 34. The, if you notice, the camera person pans to when I'm like 15, 20 feet away. So we'll see how many people say that they, I was trying too hard to even get to 35 or whatever. Because it'll do 35 without me even pedaling. I was just trying to see how fast I could go. And um, yeah, so actually all of those runs made it to 35. But when the camera pans... I was to the point already, to where the LiDAR detector was starting to go back down. 
So, anyways, just uh, so those people who actually watched to the end of the video, you know. <laughs> so we'll see how many comments I get that said, you're struggling to even get to 35, man. But now, like, the highest I got was 37. So, peace out. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.